Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jody Lulich. Today we're going to talk about urinary incontinence in a young cat. Meet CR. CR is a five-month-old cat who came in for continual urinary incontinence. In fact, you can see the urine staining on the fur of the leg. When I show you the back view, you can see that on our physical exam, we had a non-responsive pudendo reflex. In fact, you can see that the anus is very dilated. We x-rayed this cat. What do you see on the x-ray? Well, the abnormality is going to be quite clear once I give you an arrow. You can see that this cat has a sacral defect. Um, and, and you probably may notice some other things. And that is that the colon is filled with stool and the urinary bladder is large as well. Well, let me give you a quiz now that I've presented the case. What I'd like to know is why is the cat incontinent? And I'll give you two choices. Failure to relax the urethra or failure to contract the bladder? What do you think? Well, the answer is failure to contract the bladder. Let me tell you why. There are three major nerves that regulate urinary continence. The hypogastric nerve causes compression or closes the internal smooth muscle urethral sphincter. The pelvic nerve, which originates from sacral segments one to three, actually causes detrusor or bladder contraction. And the third nerve, the pudendal nerve, also in sacral segments one, two, three, causes contraction of the striated or distal urethral sphincter. So what happens when you have damage to the sacral spinal cord? And here you can see the radiographic evidence as well as the clinical evidence. Well, when you damage the cell bodies to the pelvic nerve, the bladder cannot contract. And when you damage the cell bodies to the pudendal nerve, the pudendal nerve cannot stimulate contraction of the external or striated sphincter of the urethra. What that's going to do is allow that urethra then to be open or more relaxed. So if you were to answer the question for this quiz, why is this cat incontinent? It's failure to contract the urinary bladder. We would manage this cat by teaching the owner to express the bladder manually. You can also try pharmacological agents that stimulate bladder contraction. This may also help the owner in terms of making this cat a more acceptable house pet. Now what I didn't talk about was the hypogastric nerve. So the hypogastric nerve may not be touched at all. But because both of these nerves, the hypogastric and the pudendo, help contract the urethra, even though a portion of the urethra can function, it's still going to be less viable than if you had both of these um, functioning at the same time. Great. Thanks for spending this short time with me. Hopefully you learned not only the three nerves that regulate the urinary system, but you also should now know why sacral lesions affect the pelvic and pudendal nerve preventing, first of all, the bladder not being able to contract and the distal um, external urethral sphincter not being able to contract.